The sponsor of today's video is PCBWay. If you have any projects that you want to get done and or assembled, then PCBWay is going to be a great choice. I've been using them for the past couple years and by far one of the best services I've used, whether you're a hobbyist and or professional alike. So definitely check the links down below. Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at an all new charger from ISDT. However, I'm very excited for this one because this is my favorite ISDT 1860. 50 but actually 18650 battery charger due to the fact it's lasted so long and it just always works and it's a really uh, pleasant thing to actually use however this one has been retired and we just got the new one in which is this right here it's also called the c4 evo though this time and it has a lot of new changes actually for example the power input and also the amount of batteries it could charge in terms of size and with the battery sizes here what we could charge now is two new ones have been added recently which is 16 650s and 21700 batteries as you can tell uh it's just gotten a bit wider here uh this one used to take 18650 max and i could quickly show you that uh, if we just take a look here and now if we bring one of these in and plug these in right like that you see they have these uh to enable you to charge a slightly larger battery which is really nice now since we're on the outside part another thing they have changed here is you can tell now on the newer one which is the one on the left here we have physical buttons which i prefer and on the older one they were touched but i've never had a single problem with those so it's but it's still better to have physical in my opinion however this one has lasted me for about three plus years maybe now and uh, it's the only thing i use to charge 18650s and also nickel metal hydride triple a's and double a's so it's been very, very reliable. Now, if we look at the power input, though, there are slight differences here. Now, they both do have a fan. However, on the older version, we had a normal barrel type connector for the battery input. So you could put usually anything like a 8 volt, even 9 volt or a 12 volt input. But make sure you always had like at least a 2 amp uh, power supply for this. Now, this one takes USB type C. I was able to get it to work off of my Samsung 15 watt charger and also my uh, MacBook uh, 30 watt charger which works just fine. Um, it's not going to affect that performance whatsoever, but you do need, I think, at least 15 watts of power on the USB Type-C. Now, this is not an output. This is only an input. Now, if we come back here to the older version, we also had a micro USB, which was for updating. And we also had a USB type A uh, connector here. And this was just for power output, really. So you could charge maybe like your GoPro while you're charging your 18650s. I think that's a bit nicer. And they should have probably implemented something like that as well. But as you can tell, it's also much thinner. Not that it makes a big difference, but maybe if you're putting this into your bag, um, it might be a little nicer. However, this one is slightly wider. So we can actually take a look at that in order to accommodate the new battery sizes. However, it's not that much wider, maybe about, let's just see, about four millimeters wider here. So overall, I think this would fit much better in a backpack and it's more squarish. And the older version just had more of a slope here. So let's power these guys on. However, before we do that, definitely check this out. This is from HELRC. They just sent it to me. This is by far one of the nicest parallel charging boards I've ever received. You have 15 amp fuses, which are replaceable. You could just pop them right off and you could charge via XT30 and XT60. And if we look down here, this is really cool. It's a built in discharger. Now, I still don't know how many amps this thing discharges at, and uh, we'll be definitely checking this out in the upcoming days. But knowing HDLRC, I don't think it will have anything to complain about. So, yeah, definitely check it out. It's in the links down below. If you can check those out, it's go to Sport Channel. All right, let's move on. So let's power these guys on. Let's move the batteries real quick. Now, in terms of software, again, the left one is the new one. Now, in terms of software, really nothing much has changed, except maybe you could choose a theme for this one, which I chose the black theme here. Uh, just a bit nicer and here we'll plug these in these are fresh batteries i just charged and i think i just plugged this one in backwards no i didn't so if we're looking at the software here it's basically identical just some ui changes here now if we take a look at the battery here uh this part just tells you to auto detect what kind of uh, battery you have plugged in you have quite a bit here so let's actually quickly take a look at those so we have auto lithium ion life po lithium high volt nickel metal hydrite nicd niczn and n loop these are different type of batteries you can get from china and if we take a look at the newer one here, it should be basically identical. I always prefer to set, up, set it up not on auto. I always like to set it up manually here. So we also do have, we'll just scroll through these so you can kind of get an idea of what you can charge. And that's about it when you plug in the 18650 here. Now, in terms of uh, the tasks, I think uh, they're also both pretty identical here. So let's just uh, go ahead and set that up. And for the type of tasks, they're basically identical. There is no difference here. And if we move on to the charge current, I think also they should be pretty identical. 
So this one is just trying to constantly, and for the charge current, it's basically identical here. As you can tell, three amps maximum. We can't go any, any higher than that. And if we go down, we could charge at a minimum of 0 0.01 amps here. So we'll just go ahead and click, click those, and you can just basically start. And when it comes down to their main menus, they're basically identical, except this one has something extra called uh, activation charge, which I have no idea what it is, and I doubt anybody's actually going to use that. Maybe a very selected and very few amount of people who are going to be using that. Now again, this is by far one of the, my favorite and most reliable and the only one I am currently using for 18650 batteries and any type of batteries of this nature from AA, AAA, and... Um, I don't want to say 21700s because I don't have any of those, but maybe in the future I'll end up having some and I know I'm totally compatible with that, which is really nice. Now again, I don't know if they still make the older version now. I know this is the new one that's been out and I'm very excited to give it a go. And I've been using this for the past about week now. No problem. It's been very stable, very reliable, just like the previous one. So it is somewhat of a proven design and I'm really happy that they kept with the same uh, naming scheme as the C4 because it's been treating me so well and well i'm gonna leave it at that guys everything is linked down below if you can check those out it's great support channel and i'll see you guys in the next one peace